Want to see the credits roll but only got an evening spare? We've got you covered. Here are the best games to play in one sitting in 2021. We love big games here at Logitech G. In fact, we've just done a list of the ones we've played for 200 hours or more. But sometimes you just want to sit down to your keyboard and mouse and actually see the end credits without dedicating your life to the cause. Getting to the end of a game in one sitting is a very specific kind of joy. A giant tick of completion when our backlog of steam guilt is wobbling precariously in a stack. For the purposes of this list, we've said one sitting is up to five hours or so. So if you start at seven and don't get too stuck, you'll still be in bed before gremlin o'clock. And with the help of comfortable, ergonomic peripherals, you'll be relaxed enough to drift right off too. For even more satisfying feels, tick off a subscription to Logitech G and we'll get on with the list. Let's start off with how to feel old. It's been a whole 10 years since the launch of the side-scrolling delights of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. While everyone else might celebrate with cake, oh hello pixelated cake, Ubisoft has released the game which actually disappeared back in the day due to rights issues. Now though, everyone can play and experience the story of Ramona Flowers and battle her evil exes in the name of love. Even better is that exploring this cartoony Toronto of retro-style villainry won't take you days to complete. You'll be done in under five hours or so if you don't cross every T and dot every I. Otherwise, you could be looking at double the time for full completion. So play wisely if time is tight. Some games were just built to soothe your soul, and the fact that a short hike can do it within a delightful runtime less than your average Oscar contender is, quite frankly, absurd. Playing as little Claire, fluttering around an island, chatting with other climbers on the way to the mountain summit, and just generally exploring is the kind of charm that everyone needs in 2021. This is all about making your own adventure, experiencing the world at your own pace, and just taking things as they come and listening to the brilliant soundtrack. It's cheap, cheerful, and you could probably fit this around other games in one night. We'd recommend this seven times if we could. And the next entry is somewhat scarier, so remember this loveliness. As interactive horror movies go, no one does it quite as well as supermassive games. Something wicked this way comes. Now on to the second of its Dark Pictures anthology, of which there are apparently going to be eight. The studio takes on folk horror in the creepy Little Hope. With its claustrophobic fixed camera angles and Hollywood talent that this time includes Will Poulter, Little Hope is a ghostly tale as five people get stuck in the titular town. Going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. Even better for a one-sitting affair is that there's a multiplayer mode where everyone can play together and make sure everyone is to blame for the success or indeed, well, failure and inevitable death that awaits. Oh, well, better luck next time. The sequel, House of Ashes, is apparently on the way this year. Being a horrible goose in the village has many benefits. You have an option to honk whenever you want. You can harass innocent people just trying to do their jobs, and you can do it all in one night. House House's delightful bird em up is a gleeful cartoon stealth experience and shouldn't take you longer than three hours to finish in one go. Even if you want to tick off all the optional objectives, you'll still be in bed before the wee hours. Whether you're stealing picnic items or keys from unsuspecting gardeners, Untitled Goose Game is a comedy delight. And now there's even a multiplayer option, so there can be two of you and the whole experience can feel like a real-life Hitchcock movie for those poor humans. I think I'd probably just run. Horror games are quite often short, sharp shocks, and Made of Scare is no different. 
This creepy folk tale from Wales Interactive will take you just over four hours to see the credits roll. That is, if you're brave enough to keep going through this grim hotel without a break or six. I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. Stealthy horror is the order of the day here, and you'll need to keep away from the nasties that lurk in the dark. Major Scare is actually based on the novel Lorna Dune by author R.D. Blackmore, meaning that you can always head there once you finish to see just how things have translated from book to game. As sheer atmosphere goes, this is a rich world to explore, even if things lie in wait for you that you'd rather not think about. You can do this. After you. No, I insist. They're coming. Oh God, please no! No, don't do this! Whatever you want, I... From scares to meditation, it's time to feel like a chilled out Sherlock Holmes for a few hours. If the Where's Waldo style approach of hidden folks appealed, you're going to love the beautiful spot the difference of tiny lands. Here, you're given two, well, tiny lands. Perfect frozen 3D landscapes with five differences, and all you need to do is zoom in with your keyboard to find them. While some are easy to spot, hmm, no, that doesn't look quite right. Others are gloriously fiendish, but you really won't mind as each miniature land feels perfectly zen as you spin and zoom to find the tiny inconsistencies. And you don't even have to stay gazing at one map forever if you're stuck, you can always travel to another world and come back later. With lovely gentle environmental noises in each diorama, this is an essential peaceful puzzler that you'll want to stay in forever. There are a number of Metroidvanias out there that require most of your soul as well as all of your time. It's nothing against you, Hollow Knight, but we have Zoom calls to be on. Carrion, then, is perfect for many reasons. Not only is this a reverse horror game where you can finally turn the tables on every pus-oozing monstrosity that's ever stalked you from air vents, it's also pleasantly bite-sized. Carrion shouldn't take you more than five hours to crunchily dispatch all those scientists who so cruelly kept you prisoner in a lab. Revenge really is even tastier when you can get it all out the way in one evening. Ready your tentacles and prepare to cause short but sweet chaos as the ultimate Lovecraftian nightmare. So that's a quick spin through the seven games you should finish in one sitting in 2021. Let us know what your favorite chomp-sized experiences are in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more features and lists just like this one.